Hi guys, it's uh, me again and uh, <clears throat> well, I've had a very long <laughs> summer vacation and I hope you have had a great one and um, well, it's over, I'm always a little bit sad when the summer vacation is over but um, time to start, time to get back to the real world I'm just gonna this video I'm just gonna show you what I've did uh, what I've done this summer if you have followed me on Instagram you you've seen it but I can show you like a series of what I've done um, I followed this challenge that um, it's called uh, hashtag draw uh, this in your style and uh, the first one I did is uh, this one. Can you see it? <laughs> um, and I kind of went crazy with it. Um, but you can recognize some of it, but <laughs> I, I took that a bit far, I think. Uh, there was Crystal Beasties. Uh, original drawing. And this was my style. Um, the next one was Melma D. Ducks. D. Dukes? I don't know. It's on Instagram. Um, <clears throat> he always does this kind of girls with tattoos, and it's really good. So, this was my. Uh, version of his one. Um, the next one I did was this exhales version. I uh, will draw this in your style. Um, this was her version. And This was mine. I was really happy with this one because, <laughs> and she wrote on my um, Instagram also and thought that this was kind of cool. Uh, the next one was this. And my version. one. I've been um, <clears throat> drawing and coloring in with the pro markers all summer and I love it. I want more of the pro markers because I don't have all that much. I have fiber color uh, pencils but they need, they don't blend at all so uh, Pro markers blend, and I knew that. Uh, next one was this, the original, and mine was this. Uh, I did uh, <clears throat> drawing myself as well. And put it out on my Instagram so that others can draw this um, this one in their style. It's kind of a honeybee, <laughs> and I thought of this shell for an ear. I don't really know. Uh, it doesn't really blend with the bee thing, but I thought of it so. Um, someone did uh, did um, draw it. <clears throat> That's kind of cool, and they did a good job. 
The next one I did from another style was this. Well, I think this was done a lot of times. It was Eliza's, Eliza Talent, she's called on Instagram. And this was my version. The thing about four markers is it's so available and so easy. And uh, when you have a lot of colors, which I don't, um, you can just do anything. And it's easy to take with you and uh, you don't need water and all that with watercolors. So I you may think I'm lazy when I tell, <laughs> tell you this, but I just... I just love it when it's easy to color in, uh, although it will never, of course, be as <clears throat> or the style in is watercolor, but I like it. Uh, the next was this one, Ellen Toy. Mm. And my version was this. I love the colors in this one. I I, I love pastels. Um, as you may know, I'm moving in uh, about half a year, so and I'm just changing everything about the interior <laughs> because I just gone sick about what I have now. I. I, I think it's cool still, but I have a lot of old stuff. I, I love antiques. But next place, I'm just gonna go pastel ballistic. Well, next is this uh, this one. It was really cute. Um, I didn't get it so cute. Violet uh, 1202. And this was my version. Next one was this uh, Kaila's art, and uh, this was my version. This was really cool to do, and I I think this has been done a lot as well. Um, just added a bit few things and well, did it in my style. So did everything, but it was cool to do. The next, if you go into my Instagram pages, you can see on all these where I've been when I draw it. Because I drew everything outside. That was the perfect thing about pore markers. You can do it anywhere. Uh, you can also, of course, use watercolors <clears throat> everywhere. But um, it's a bit of a hassle sometimes. So when you're at the beach, uh, summer is blowing. It's uh, sand everywhere, water. Uh, the perfect thing is pore markers, I think. So this is where I've been. Um, I took pictures when I drew and where I was. So this is the beach where I'm um, living. And uh, if you go into my Instagram, you can see where I've been <laughs> for the summer. I've been on every beach in the nearby neighborhood. I live by the water, so uh, it's easy to find a beach. This one was the next, uh, and Joe Hink, and Joe Hink, and Joe, I don't know. Um, the original, and this was my version. It was also cool to do. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Not very much left. Uh, this one, um, Martuka Art, I think 
Let's see where I was this. Oh, I played golf. I did play a lot of golf this summer and I love it. Um, oh, my legs. So this is the original. And this is my version. I love watermelon. I love watermelon. <laughs> and my son does too, so this is kind of perfect. Um, next one is kind of a, well, not as, an, as the others. It was cool and freaky and Beatrice Blue on Instagram. And this was my version. I could do this <laughs> all year, probably. It was fun and it was easy to do. You, don't, you didn't have to think a lot because you just have to, you just have to draw it in your style. So just draw it, right? And um, you didn't have to think up the idea and everything because that could be a hustle for someone. Like uh, thinking up ideas, I don't have a problem with that, but some do, and this was a perfect challenge for uh, when you wanted this kind of, yeah, well, much easier when you don't have to think so much. And easy to do it outside and in the summer because you don't use your energy on very much, really. <laughs> Um, that's, that's the last one. The last one I did was this Dree Archie. Dree Archie. I don't know. Dree Chi. This was the original, and my version was this one. Kind of a full. Thing. It was a bit early in the summer, uh, in, not early, but it was in July, so I didn't really have that uh, fall feeling. I have it now because when in August uh, here, we have had this drought out all this summer, but in August it just started to rain, and that's uh, kind of a downer, but it's okay. We needed it. The trees and everything needed it because I, I've heard on the radio that the trees, a lot of the trees have died, so that's awful. Um, the next thing I did uh, besides all the house, uh, whimsical houses, I started a challenge on my own. <clears throat> and it's still on Instagram if you want to go over there um, it is kind of uh, um, where you make uh, where you draw a movie character in your style so it's not very um, difficult to know but uh, there is no one did it so but uh, I started out with Hermione Granger and she's a very cute character so uh, this was my version of her in my style and her cat <laughs> uh, the next one was Bilbo Baggins. So this is my Bilbo Baggins. It's kind of a cross between the young Bilbo Baggins and the old one in the Lord of the Rings. Um, and here of course is Zwing. And he says, hi there, my name is Precious. <laughs> um, the next one, I, I love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, so uh, 
the next one was uh, Toyel in the Hobbit. If you go to my bio in, in Instagram, my Instagram page, you can see one of my stories is printed up there, and uh, there's a challenge. It's not e it's not difficult to follow. And you can do anything, right? So it was fun. This is my version on Toriel. The next one was Mascanada in Star Wars. This is the Mascanada character. I kind of liked her, and she I liked the one. Yeah. Well, this is my version. Um. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy, Luke? Um. Yep. I keep with uh, Star Wars, and I thought I'd do yoga. So this is my version of Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. The next one was Beatrix. Um, Beatrix Lestrange in Harry Potter. This is the original Aura character. Everyone knows that, I think. And I love I love doing hair like this. It's kind of uh, whimsical and uh, messy, and you use a lot of ink. And uh, you, I use the Pentel brush pen, pocket brush pen, or something it's called. Um, it, it's perfect because you can do all these thin, thin uh, lines, and uh, but also thick ones. So I would recommend using a brush pen but uh, practice on it because don't give up in the first because it's difficult it's not that easy it's not like using a pen or um, pencil no pen brush pen brush I'm sorry it's not like using a brush it's uh, a little bit more tricky than that so um, Try uh, a lot before you give up, <laughs> or don't give up, uh, because it's fun and it gives us gives us a, a lot of character. I use it um, all around, uh, so I can get thick lines and thin lines. The last one I did was Deadpool. I love Deadpool, and. Um, <laughs> my sons do too, so uh, this is my version of Deadpool. <clears throat> and with his pink uh, backpack and uh, unicorn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, love it, love it, Deadpool. And as I said, Ryan Reynolds is. Have made this totally his character, and uh, no one could have done it better. He's just the coolest guy, I think. So this was my um, this is what I did. Uh, I've done. I have done a lot of uh, whimsical houses as well, uh, but um, no video. And what I was thinking of doing uh, is so I can have that um, is that um, I'm, I want to do October Inktober I want to do that um, but I don't think I can do videos because I'm going away in October on my uh, into Spain and um, I don't have the time uh, there to do, or the computer and camera and all that. I don't have um, the opportunity to do it there, so, um, but I can post on Instagram, so I think I will just draw and post it on Instagram. 
Um, I want to follow uh, some theme words. I want to see what Jake Parker come up with first. If I don't really like them, I will try and find someone else. <clears throat> I don't think I want to make them my own because... Uh, um, um, well, I, I that's not a challenge for me because suddenly I want to, if I make uh, the words up my own uh, on my own, <clears throat> I will automatically make it probably easy for myself. So by having this challenge and making it a channel channel challenge, I um, I think I will take someone else's words. So, we will see when October comes. Uh, it's far away yet. But this, uh, I bought this uh, notebook uh, with blank sheets. And I thought that I could um, fill this up. It's a hundred pages. So, it's kind of a... Uh, it will take some time, but... I think I will try and do a sketchbook. It's kind of thin, the layers. It's a notebook. It's not a sketchbook, but it's hard to find a sketchbook that is hardcover. So I want to try and do the sketchbook. I'll just start it uh, soon. And um, well, yes, I've um, also I've. Printed up some, sorry, printed up some, um, I've never shown this to anyone, <laughs> I've not shown this to anyone yet, because I had this exhibition in, in November, first of, no uh, well, the first uh, weekend in November, two days, and I'm framing all my work, so it will take a lot of time, but I also printed up some Christmas cards, um, but it is, it is in Norwegian, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, it is a, a Norwegian um, exhibition here in Norway, so I had to have it in Norway, Norwegian. Um, well, this is the first one. It's just a happy holiday, it's a Christmas holiday. Um, this was from my um, 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 Christmas calendar before Christmas uh, last year. I did this one. And someone told me that this should be a card, a uh, Christmas card. So I just, it's a very great paper to do it. And of course there's envelopes. No, sorry, it's just not. It's kind of uh, postcards. You can see that behind. So this is one, and this is the other. Merry Christmas! It says in Norwegian that is Gul <clears throat> So now you know that. Um, Gingerbread house and gingerbread uh, costumes and well, I probably was inspired by Hansel and Gretel. This was from the calendar bef the year before in 2016. Um, but I really like the outcome, so there. The last one is this one. Have a happy, happy Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas or something. And a wonderful New Year. In Norwegian, that is Ha en gledelig jul og en fantastisk nyttår. Et fantastisk nyttår. This is also from the calendar in 2016. All of the calendars, I think, is on Instagram. So, well, um, I may do a little um, drawing for you next, I think. 
and um, yeah just wait one moment <clears throat> one more thing I'm gonna um, talk about before I get to work is that um, I had a giveaway uh, in uh, one of my videos mythical Mondays the first mythical Mon Mondays the blue bees um, with the wheel of little creatures in the woods um, I don't think uh, I uh, described it really well because no one did it right really um, <clears throat> I asked you to um, um, share my channel on a, a social media network and uh, the ones that did it uh, shared it on Facebook and that's totally fine uh, but you shared it on a page that I can't uh, it's sort of it has to be a private account or something because or a page or group because I can't get to it so uh, that's why I really can't um, give away anything to anyone because I haven't seen it wouldn't be fair I haven't seen the results on the likes or anything so but um, I didn't really like it in the first place because of the likes thing I don't like uh, this uh, pressure on likes and everything but um, well uh, since no one really did it right and uh, the ones who tried really probably will be a little disappointed but I think I will uh, I will do another one later on because uh, I've hit 5,000 subscribers I think I have uh, 5,100 now uh, over that so I will for sure do something but um, maybe a little bit later in the fall or autumn and um, I hope you all can join then and I wouldn't I uh, will have to see what I've what I'm gonna do um, but well so that's why and uh, I hope you guys are not too disappointed the ones who tried um, but I it wouldn't be fair I can some of them told uh, some of you told me that they can take a picture of the site but that's um, not the point it's when you share and you want to share my channel uh, the point is to get it across to most people right so and when you have it on a, a media group where it's uh, closed to uh, others um, it kind of loses its effect so um, well I um, I will try something uh, later on hopefully and uh, the thing if you take that away uh, the thing is now is I'm gonna this I um, inked in last uh, night um, and I thought I would uh, just uh, color it in and uh, so that you get something out of this video without me just showing you what I've done before so mm, I hope you enjoyed it and um, uh, well I hope uh, for more subscribers and uh, um, and if you have any suggestions on uh, what I'm gonna do uh, in the videos uh, um, forward this year and um, just let me know if if you want a tutorial or you want just to see me draw how long you would like them to be and just um, anything really and um, I will see what I can do um, it was kind of a toll on me to just start again uh, I had this long vacation and it's uh, it's been great 
it really so um, to start again was kind of a big step but um, well uh, I hope to get more subscribers so share my channel and um, hit the subscribers button and the bell the bell gives you notification when I put my videos out so um, as I said, I hope you had a great summer and um, I hope you will have a great fall. Uh, fall for me is uh, a magical time, really. I love it, uh, but um, I really would wish the summer could just um, be a little longer. Um, but well, I, am moving. I'm, I live in Norway, so that's that. But um, the fall will be great and... Uh, yeah, let me know if there is anything that you wish, so I can be a little fairy godmother for you. Hmm. So uh, that's that. I uh, will uh, give this some color in Pro Markers and uh, Fibra. Fibra color is, is this kind of. I think it's kind of a children's <laughs> uh, ink pencil ink pens. Um, but they're a great uh, when you t I use it with the Pro Marker Blender, uh, and when I use that first, you will see me do it se several times. I use that first, and then this will make a really smooth finish because when I use only this one fiber color, it doesn't get really smooth. It's um. Well, in the big areas and uh, so <clears throat> and I have some new colors also so I will I'm gonna try it out I hope you enjoy the video and um, please comment below if there is anything I would love to hear from you
Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I do love making these kind of whimsical houses, villages, um, pictures. And I hope you enjoy watching them. <clears throat> um, if you do, please comment. Uh, I do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, have a great week. I will hope to see you next Thursday. Bye. Take care.